All right, now we're going to go the other way, which is uh, calculating the degree measure from the radians, okay? So it's just the opposite, but we're going to do the same thing, which is always start with what we know. So we have to make sure we know what we know. Uh, let's see, pi radians equals 180 degrees. I'm not going to explain that again right now, um, but we're looking for this. Hmm. Okay, well, uh, all we really need to do, we could just do it simply like this. Let's times this by two-thirds. Well, we do one side, you do the other. Two-thirds. And two pi over three equals, well, let's... Uh, 360 degrees in the numerator over 3, and uh, 360 and 3, that cancels out to 120. The degree symbol didn't go anywhere, so it's still there. And there we have it, just like that, okay? Now, uh, there is another way to do it. I'm going to show you, in case you're stuck with something that looks really ugly, which you may, Here's what you want to do. Go to the single unit, just like we did with the degrees. We always brought it down to one degree. Here we're going to bring it down to one radian. Okay. Um, we know that pi equals 180 degrees. Pi radians equals 180 degrees. If we, this is our radian side here, okay? Let's bring this down to 1, okay? If I divide both sides by pi, then I get 1 radian, but I'm just dividing by pi. I'm gonna I'm gonna be very careful with my my signs here. Okay, I'm I'm dividing by pi radians, so I just get one. There's no radians here anymore. Radians cancelled out. Pi cancelled out. That equals 180 degrees over pi radians. Okay. Now, this is our unit. That's good. Now we can go anywhere with this. Well, we want it to look like two thirds. So now I'm gonna times this by two pi radians. Okay, clean this up. Oops. Two pi radians um, over three. Plus our, our times are one from before, and I'm going to times this on this side. Two pi radians over three. Well, now we can cancel load. First of all, this side here is strictly two pi uh, radians over three. We're already done on this side. Now we're going to solve this to find out what the degrees are. Um, okay. We have a pi radians in the numerator and a pi radians in the denominator. Guess what? They cancel out. Okay. What are we left with? 180 degrees times 2 divided by 3. Well, 2 times 180 degrees, that's 360 degrees. 360 degrees divided by 3 is 120 degrees. And of course, this side still is the same. Do I have to write radians? No, because I'm smart. I'm lazy. Lazy mathematicians take shortcuts because they know what they're doing. Um, that's it. So this radian measure equals that many degrees. Something real quick on here. What's the degree measurement of this? Um, let's start with what we know. If um, pi equals 180 degrees, let's multiply it by 112 on both sides. That will give us pi over 12 equals 180 degrees over 12. And then, well, 180 divided by 12, 180 divided by 12, that actually turns into 15 degrees. I had to check that out there. Pi over 12. Okay? So that means that this measurement, this angular measurement, equals 15 degrees. What does that look like on a circle? Well, just like this we would have a circle divided into 12 parts, okay? So maybe three sections per quadrant. Okay, so here is our, our circle. Here is our 12 sections. There's our axes, axes. Each one of these things here is 15 degrees. No, that doesn't make sense. Oh, pi, okay? We're talking about single pi. When we get to here, that's one full pi, okay? So what that means is that there's 12 all the way up to there. So cleaning that up, we will have six on each side. There should be 12 sections on this leading up to one pi. Each one of these sections is 15. 
That's what it's talking about. Remember, because the arc of the circle, the arc is measured in radians. So um, pi twelfths, so the length of uh, one twelfth of this entire arc called pi, one twelfth will be 15 degrees. Good stuff.